Daytona Beach, Florida, WNDB. Don, you're on the Savage Nation. Go ahead, please. Yeah, Michael, uh, if they legalized the drugs, they wouldn't have any power down in Mexico where they whine and cry all the time about the violence. And I agree with you, but I, I I didn't say legalize. I said decriminalize, number one. But if the people are dying to smoke marijuana, I say that the states should sell it in state-run marijuana shops, and they should make the billions of dollars that we need to run the states instead of taking out of working people's pockets. That's the end of the story. They tax us alcohol that isn't good for you, uh, but then they sell it because the people want it. Why not let the government sell the marijuana? What about tobacco? It's horrible. It's a toxin. It's death. I understand, but I'm not a smoker. I'm not supporting tobacco. But I don't think what... See, most people don't understand something. Levels of some toxins are higher in pot cigarettes than in tobacco cigarettes. I'm sure you're aware of that. Is that correct? I am. Correct. Ammonia, ammonia levels were up to 20 times higher in marijuana smoke than in tobacco smoke. Levels of hydrogen cyanide and nitrogen-related chemicals were three to five times higher in marijuana smoke than in tobacco smoke, but it gets worse. Are you ready for this, potheads? The nitrogen-based fertilizer used on the marijuana plants, which all came from the same batch of Canadian pot plants that were studied, the fertilizer itself may be toxic. By the way, marijuana smoke and tobacco smoke shared many of the same chemicals. For instance, marijuana doesn't contain nicotine, we know that. And tobacco doesn't contain cannabinoids, which include THC, marijuana's active ingredient. That's a given, everyone knows that. But the toxicity of marijuana smoke is extremely important for youngsters to understand because they will get lung and other cancers from smoking marijuana on a regular basis. It's that simple. Marijuana smoke contains higher levels of certain toxins than cigarettes. It's another reason to keep off the grass. But many of you don't know that. You've been hoodwinked into thinking that because it's, quote, natural, it's harmless. Well, tobacco is also natural, my friends, and so is curare. I can name other natural substances that will kill you uh, uh, faster than Obamacare. 855-400-7282. Let's take some callers. WMAL in Washington, D.C. Stephen, thank you for calling the program. What's on your mind? Hey, Mike, I love the show. love hearing about Teddy. Um, you have a literary mind. You're right about Kerouac. And what I want to say, Mike, is I'm kind of an anachronism. I live in northern Virginia. There is a hippie scene here. And I am a guitar player. I, I'm a musician, and I play with different musicians, sort of as you would, could call in the scene, I guess is the way I could describe it. Now, right. I want to confirm what you're saying about hippies being intolerant and mean um, yes. and what I want to say is this I'll give you some a couple examples one example is I had a conversation with one guy my age I'm in my late 40s and right. um, I stated to him that because we got into a discussion about Obama that Obama did not inherit a mess because for one thing gas prices were a dollar 85 when Obama took over from Bush thank you so that, right it doesn't really back up that narrative so that he had so what he did was i said well do you have an ipad and he pulled it out and he's like i'm like because you can find it on there it's kind of cool you know we live in a day and age where you can pull a magic box out of your pocket and you know you can find out the truth and he did, he was just he walked away and got upset now that's right because look don't confuse me with the facts my my uh drug addicted mind is made up i mean basically that's what it came down to but look you have a good time. You make a living from the community. I understand that. It doesn't mean that you have to hate them. The fact of the matter is, though, they're stuck in a certain uh, segment, a certain past. They're start set in a certain mindset. They're not open-minded. They claim they're liberated, but their minds are closed. That's the exact point that I'm trying to make, Mike, and I'll give you another example. I got to talk to another guy who's a friend of mine, and what he said when we were talking was, Sounds like you've been listening to too much right wing talk radio. Hey Amen. Let's hear it for right wing talk radio. Yay, right wing. You know what I, I love? Every time you pick up a newspaper or a blog, it's about right wing this, right wing that. How many times have you seen the words left wing as applied to Obama, or the words left wing as applied to the Democrats, or the words left wing as applied to virtual?